In order to engrave these stock pieces with the DH3 logo, these parts are anodized aluminum. I don't think it's a hard coat anodized, and uh, this because depending on how hard the coat is, how thick it is, it could affect how many times it needs to be engraved. We're going to first use this fixture, which is a 120 by 120 open bottom square fixture. And so place it on the pins in the back. That, push it down over those pins. Then we're going to use one of these 321 blocks, put it in the back corner over here, the top right corner. We're going to use this other 321 blocks that have been screwed together. I'm going to put them right here, like that. And the last part is we're going to use nine of these stainless steel bottle opener cards, the stuff we use for carbon knives. We're going to place them here. The side with the round hole is what goes on top, and this is the, the engraving is going to go here. This side with the hex is the bottom. So we put it with the top up like this, such that this piece is going to be set up such that it touches this 321 block on the back here, at the, at what would be kind of like the top of the design. And then on the right side, it, it contacts this block and is parallel to it. The, the part sets right on top of the cards, right in front of the gap here. And then you always want to make sure you just, you just lightly touch it to make sure it's up against the surface on the right and the surface on the top. That's what's most important. That's the, the X and the Y positioning there. The height is set to 42.8 millimeters. Here are the settings. Go to properties. And we can see the settings here. So the LP type we're using is anodized aluminum. And the current is 100. Frequency is 50,000 hertz. And the millimeters per second is 1200. I'm going to go through all these settings first. I'm going to go back to look at the LP type in more detail. Hatching is no outline. Hatch angle is 90 degrees. Bidirectional. Here are the settings for the anodized aluminum uh, LP type. We have power 100%, frequency 50,000 hertz, speed 1200 millimeters per second, pulse width 0.1 microsecond, line width 0 0.030 millimeters. These are the Galvo settings. This is the delay beam setting. Raster and wobble, which I don't usually change much. Restart the engraving. There we go, that's what the engraving should look like. You should always check the engraving first before you remove it to see if there's any marks in the engraving that show that it hasn't been engraved all the way through the anodizing. Sometimes the anodizing is a little bit thicker and you'll get these uh, black marks, these remnants, and you need to engrave a few more times.